Hey guys, this is Control Destroy. My name is Nathan, aka The One, and today we're going to be programming your mechanum wheels to allow your robot to strafe left and right. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Uh, what we have here is just a simple tank drive program. We have two variables. Uh, one is our right stick, and we're calling it upon G1 right stick Y, and our left stick, and that's G1 left stick Y. We have four motors on our robot. Uh, the two ones on the left are being directly controlled by the left stick, uh, and the two on the right are being directly controlled by the right stick, and uh, the power is inverted here because uh, the two right motors in this situation are inverted. We have a robot being called through the term robot, so that's how we're calling our uh, four motors, and uh, that's about it. And now we're going to implement Mechanum Drive. This is a lot simpler than many people think. Many people use giant formulas so your robot can go in any direction. But most times in FTC, uh, going left and right is all you need, and that is very simple to set up. So we're going to set it up here. First, uh, we're going to add two new buttons. We're going to add uh, your right bumper and left bumper. Uh, these are interchangeable, but just in this scenario, we're going to use your right bumper to strafe right, and your left bumper to strafe left. So we'll call our right bumper like that, uh, and our left bumper as you and left bumper. Uh, these are going to be booleans because it is a digital button. And we're good to go there. Now, let's do mechanum drive. So, we're just going to start with a simple if then, if then else statement. So, we're going to say if G1 right bumper, so when G1 right bumper is pressed, we're going to do something. And then we're also going to do something when G1 left bumper is pressed. So right bumper is when we're going to be strafing right, left bumper when we're strafing left. So what are we going to do here? Well, how mechanum wheels work when you set them properly on your robot is that when all the wheels are spinning outwards away from your robot, your robot is going to be moving right. And if your wheels are all rotating into your robot, your robot will be moving left. So let's do that. Uh, we'll start with right, and that is when all your wheels are moving out. So we'll use the layout we have here. And instead of G1 right stick power, since we're not going to be getting power from the sticks, we'll just say 1. And usually you're going to want to use a full power from mechanum drive because you're going to be facing more resistance when strafing left and right. So these are the powers that move your robot forward. So all the wheels are moving forward. That means uh, the two front wheels that are moving outside of your robot forward are fine. But the two back wheels that are moving into the robot need to be reversed. So that means your two back wheels... So in this situation, motor 1 is your front left, motor 2 is your back left. So we're going to want to invert that back left. And then motor 3 is your front right, and your motor 4 is your back right. So in this situation, we would invert our right by taking away the negative. This would cause all the wheels to move away from your robot. The two forwards are going to be the same, but the two back motors are going to be inverted to move away from your robot. Now we're going to do the same thing for our left strafe. So our left strafe wants to move everything in the opposite direction of what we just set up there. Instead of moving all out, we want all in. So we'll just set the opposite of what we have. So we'll get rid of negatives where they are and put negatives where they're not. And there we go. We're strafing left and right. We do have one problem here, though. If you were... We do have one problem here, though. If you are not moving your power by the left stick, these left stick is going to be zero. That means every time this loop runs, it sets the power to 0 because you're not moving it. But if you're hitting right bumper, it sets it to 1. So you're constantly going in between 0 and 1. So there's a really simple fix for this. We're going to move that from there, call an else statement, and put the dank drive right here. This means if you're not strafing, you're not hitting the right bumper, you're not hitting the left bumper, you're going to want to use regular drive and run by the sticks. So let's save this, make sure we didn't make any mistakes. And we're already done. Your, your robot can now strafe left and right. Obviously, you're going to have to change these values for how your robot's set up, because your robot will change in what motors are inverted, and what motors are on which sides, and which are the front, which are the back, stuff like that. So you'll just have to work it out. But that's the gist of it, and the basics way of setting it up. If you didn't understand anything in this video, please leave a comment or text our FTC help hotline at 302-635-9862, and I'll respond as soon as possible with an answer. 
And if you have any other subject you want me to cover, also leave a comment or text the hotline and I'll get right to it. Subscribe to get notified on all our latest content. That's about it. This has been Control Destroy. My name's Nathan, aka The One, and I'll see you in the next FTC tutorial.